about the background noise of the dryer. I am cleaning up my house and getting ready to go because today will be Sasha's final appointment before her surgery in January. And if you haven't been following us, Sasha will be having a, a serious journey of going through a surgery um, in January to help the spasticity and the muscles in her legs due to her cerebral palsy. Um, it's become a problem that she's using her knees more and her knees are getting swollen and her legs aren't becoming straight and without her AFO she basically can't even walk kind of a straight kind of line. So we are going to a gait analysis a clinic today and they are going to pinpoint the exact type of surgery that we're going to have. From there we're going to set our exact date probably today. Um, we had two picked out in January but the crazy thing was they said that two different surgeries can be on two different days. So we have to kind of pinpoint all this. I knew what time frame it would kind of happen in, but I'm gonna take you guys along and show you what Sasha has to go through with the gate clinic and everything they do just to see what the muscles are like in her legs and the way she walks and the gross pattern and everything else. So we're gonna take you guys. What are you doing? Are you ready for this big trip out? Got our snacks and our Snoopy bag. Got all of our books. Hey, Mom. Yes. We're going to see David on Thanksgiving. Tomorrow. That's yeah. We're going to see David on Thanksgiving. You're right. Your best friend. Yep. We're ready. But you know what? What? Go see Gramps too. We are. You got my whole entire day planned out, huh? Yeah. I can't wait to see him. I have to. You going ahead? Yep. Say so we have arrived. No, it's a circle. There you, there you go. go. You got it. See a piece of cake. Good job. <gasps> Here we go. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to go 18. And then the next one I'm going to do. Oh, Miss Jess, do you mind just yep. helping me hold? Is how long your legs are. Yeah. So if you can just bring your knees down as much as we can. And I'm going to go right to there. I think I'm going to go 77, Miss Erin. And then Miss Sasha's right leg is going to be, I'm going to go 79. I'm going to remeasure. I think Miss Sasha can get a little bit straighter knee on that side than Miss Sasha. I'm going to go right to there.
walk away with a picture. I mean, you can watch it print. It's pretty cool. Really it, is. Watch it, print. it goes yellow, <laughs> and then blue, and then pink, right? Is that it? it? I think so. This is going to be so quick. I think, I think. And it's pretty cool. I agree with Miss Erin on how How it's just cool. three colors make it a whole picture. Because it only has red, no, it has pink, yellow, and blue ink. And it mixes all of those colors together to get your picture. <laughs> So this is what happens after a long day of being out and you get home. What are you doing? May I help you? So we had a pretty successful time at the gate clinic analysis today and we have a date set in January definitely that Sasha is going to go in for surgery. They are pinpointing still the exact um, you know, Sasha's grown a ton and her leg muscles, some have gotten better, some have stayed the same, some have gotten weaker. So they're really trying to decide like the best effort of where to go into and the probes tell you basically how the muscles are doing and measuring the waves of the muscles, good and bad. So that will be sent off to her neurologist and Hartford and she will give me a call back with immediate results, but we have definitely set a date. Sasha will be going in the middle of January for surgery and fingers crossed that it's just gonna be a 24 hour stay and we can come home if she's not spastic and having pain management issues. So it's gonna be a big cat fight, sorry. It's gonna be a big journey in life for us and hopefully this is the answer to helping Sasha out because as she's gotten older, the more she started to press on her knees and the weight bearing and the spasticity has gotten worse and her right side's basically curving in rather than staying straight. So fingers are crossed that the surgery will definitely go and help Sasha. So we'll go and talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.